Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with some video, and this time we have Sean Killian with 796 rating versus the real AMP with 998 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video, also make sure to check out Sean Killian's YouTube channel, link down below in the description, and then hopping right in, we will see Sean Killian win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, they will decide to go first, 40 versus 41, opening hands, we have Drew Swarm, Saferd, Talents, King Sark, Ball Drake, okay, they have Snake Eye, Diabella Star, Black Witch, Wanted, Oak, and Droplet, so a lot of people know Sean Killian as the Snake Eye player from the Iron Mans, but I remember him as the Bestial Control player. So, you know, this kind of looks like something like that. Saferd send Swarm. go ahead search out Sornir, okay. And then Sornir's going to allow us to get to Lubellion, which Saferd will then be able to add back. So summon Sornir, banish Swarm, and then make a seal. And then we're going to go Sornir, dump Lubellion, Saferd, grab Lubellion, Lubellion, go search out Bestial Magma Mutt. Yep, that is fine. And then activate Magma Mutt, banish Sornir, special, effect to search during the end phase, tribute it for Lubellion. And then we're going to go Lubellion effect to go place a regained. And then Baldrake, banish special, regain, put back draw. And then that draws into a Imseti. Okay. I took a draw, uh, make IP, and then Imseti effect, uh, discard, yeah, go ahead, search out King Sark, and then draw charge of the Light Brigade. Oh, okay, definitely not a bestial control variant, definitely, okay, okay, charge, go ahead, mill three, sure, go search out Light Sworn Dragonling, which we do not have a Light Sworn in our graveyard right now. Uh, now activate King Sark, summon out the Imseti King Sark, discard, dump Happy, and then Lightsworn Dragonling effect, go search out Punishment Dragon, and then summon out the Happy from the graveyard, overlay to make the Zombie Vampire, Zombie Vampire effect, detach, uh, hold on, first of all, uh, okay, yeah, mill four, and then they milled a Metal Tronus, so... I have seen some people attempt to main deck this card, but it's like... I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good to main deck this card. I think, like, sure, if you start your YCS tournament in top 32, sure, I think this card will end up being pretty good as long as you play against mirror matches. But I feel like this card is, uh, you know, main deck. I don't think it's very good in the meta overall. You know, there's, there's a lot of decks in the format, truly. Uh, once you get later into a tournament, then, yeah, it's going to be a lot of snake eye. Right? Uh, but we're going to summon out Vice. And then we're going to get Wolf, Chain Link 1, Poplar, Chain Link 2. So summon out Wolf, uh, Spell Trap Zone, Poplar. Oh, that was actually broken that we milled that. I just realized that. Yeah, that was actually broken. Because now we get to make the Minerva Synchro. And then use that effect. So go ahead and dump 2. Dump Vice and Felice. And then Vice and Felice. Summon out. Summon out. Sure. And then use those to make an Omega. And then Omega effect to go rip. Do we hit Droplet? Ah, oh, we hit Oak. Oh, that's actually pretty good, though, because now they're not going to have access to their Oak on their next turn. Oh, my gosh, and they use Poplar Effect. I didn't even realize. Yeah, so now we get Talents Rip. So now we're going to go ahead, Rip Droplet. Sure. And then activate Minerva. Banish, go Mill 4. So that mills a Felice and a Chaos Space. All right. And then summon out Felice. That's fine. Uh, we could summon Punishment Dragon this turn also. Chaos Base, Banish, Put Back Wolf, and then draw White Dragon. Okay, so now we can't summon out Punishment Dragon, but we did draw White Dragon there, which is actually pretty good. I wish, like, obviously, if we had this in hand already, then we could have put back Omega and then omega them again. But, you know, you're not going to know that you're going to draw this. Make SP, SP Effect Go Banish, Banish Vice. Oh, uh, wait, doesn't this have different names? Yeah, yeah, it's with different names. Uh, yeah, so we can't do that. There wouldn't be a way to do that either. Cause, okay, so little mishap on their part. Does not look like the opponent's going to catch it, though. Also, doesn't this mill four once per turn if your Lightsworn Monster effect is activated? Uh, no. Okay, does not mill four. Grab Ball Drake, pass. They draw a nib, and then they admit defeat. So going on to game number two now, we will see Snake Eye go first. Opening hands. Uh, we have Punishment Dragon, Dark Ruler, Raiden, Lightsworn, Dragonling, and Lubellion. They have Talons, Poplar, Bonfire, Wanted, Snake Eye, Ash. Okay, so, you know, full combo. 
Uh, Snake Eye Ash, Pop Lore, Summon Pop Lore, Effect, go grab out Divine Temple, that's fine. And then now we can go activate Wanted, go ahead search out Black Witch, sure. Then Special Black Witch by Sending Pop Lore, and then Black Witch Pop Lore, Spell Trap Zone, go set the original Divine Temple, play Snake Eye Diabella Star, Summon Selene, Selene gain counters, lose counters, set up Apo, you know, just, you know doing the Apo before the original uh, so that way you're protected. And then original send, summon out oak. Oak effect, special back out, snake eye ass. And we have snake eye diabella star, special spell trap zone. Now oak send itself plus poplar, bring out flame birds. Now flame birds plus snake eye ash to make IP. Flame birds summon back out, snake eye ash, and whatever. Doesn't matter on the other one. Because uh, we're just going to link off in the princess. Princess and the flame birds, flame birds onto IP. Or we can snake eye ash and do another flame bird, sure. And then either way, flame bird onto IP and then make hope Arvin, sure. And then we're gonna go wanted, banish, put back, draw into a nib, which is actually uh, pretty good here because we know that we're gonna get hit with dark ruler. I mean, they don't know that, but we know that. They still have temple in the IP, unless I'm about to say. They could draw face flame bird summon IP, but they do have hope Arventure set up to try to beat something like a steel spell. So they're gonna let Dark Ruler go through, then charge mill three, then mill magma mutt, saferd, then grab out vice from the deck to the hand. Now we will go normal summon Raiden. Thinking if they want a temple, they don't. Raiden effect mill two, mill ball drake thrust, then vice effect, put back light sworn dragonling, special mill two. Doesn't hit anything there. Yeah, these have just not been good mills here at all. Uh, so now they're going to go Divine Temple, summon out IP. Then IP effect to go ahead and link off. Yeah, Sean Killian just submits defeat. They needed better mills than that to have a chance. So now, Sean Killian's going to go first. We have Skill Drain, Saferd, Felice, Lightsworn, Dragonling, Regain. They have Bonfire, Ash Blossom, Bonfire, Snake Eye, Ash, Imperm. Gosh, I hate this card. Normal summon Saferd. Saferd effect. Isn't this a dragon? Uh, yeah. But okay, we're just going to send four. Get hit with Ash. I guess it's fine to send off the field, though. I mean, it is fine. All right, pass. They draw a Mourner. Normal Snake Eye Ash. Get hit with Skill Drain. Bonfire and the Poplar. So maybe we're just going to set up a Flame Bird here. Summon out Poplar. And then now we're going to go Snake Eye Ash effect. Send, summon Flame Birds, Poplar, Spell Trap Zone itself. Oh, Spell Trap Zone, Ash Blossom. Oh, wait, that makes sense. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Because we don't have the extra level 1 engrave. Okay, so attack, set Imperm, pass, draw Saferd, activate Regained, normal summon Saferd, Saferd effect, send to go search out Bestial Lubellion, and then Lightsworn Dragonling, go search out Punishment Dragon, then we have Bestial Lubellion effect, discard, go search. So that's going to grab out Druus Worm, and then, I mean, Regain plus Skill Drain, like, that's pretty good. Like, Snake Eye's not going to be able to keep up with that. Maybe if they had Divine Temple and Snake Eye Diabella Store in rotation, then, you know, like, that's pretty good, but they're going to get pretty far ahead. Regain, put back, draw Vice. Even then, though, I was going to say, if you just summon Lubellion in defense, they can't really out it. Uh, but okay, summon out Lubellion, Druus Worm, send Flame Burge, Flame Burge effect, summon back out. Here you would obviously summon it and attack because you want to beat over Snake Eye Ash and Pop Lore. Um, so yeah, you just literally out everything here. Yeah, that's actually, this is nice. This is nice. This is nice. Uh, beat over Snake Eye Ash, beat over Pop Lore, and then Pop Lore effect, spell Trap Zone, Flame Burge, and then main phase two. We just pass. Okay, doesn't make seal. They draw a Nib for turn, and then activate Bonfire, and then they just said GG. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I guess let's think it out real quick, right? What do they do here? They search Snake Eye Ash, Effects, Sun Itself, plus Flame Burge. Never mind, they search. Well, I guess it depends what's in their deck here. Because assuming they have double Flame Burge, Snake Eye Diabella Star, they would search Oak. Oak, Sun Itself, plus Flame Burge, Summon Flame Burge, Flame Burge Effects, Summon Out Poplar, Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash, Sun Itself, plus Ash Blossom, Summon Snake Eye Diabella Star. And, like... That's not bad. That's not bad. But I guess the problem is, like, you uh, beat over, beat over. Jurist from Effect Ascend, then they just stay for it. Add Backbist to Lubellion. Okay, so you don't out Lubellion, then. 
Oh, uh, it's so tough, though, if you don't have Lubellion. I guess it's fine, though, right? It's, like, somewhat fine. I feel like they should have just tried to do that. They should have stayed in the game a little bit. But, yeah, probably won't end up working out. No, actually, no, nah, I'm staying in the game for sure. What if they out their own skill drain or something? Which I doubt they will. But then you, like, hit them with Moonlit Nib and, like, take the last bit of their life points away doing with the little cheese combo. But... Alright, seen how long the match was. It was about 27 minutes long. And we see the GG's there. And okay, yeah, Sean Killian wins with the Bestial Lightsworn Dragon deck. Uh, oh, I kind of sucks. I really wanted it to be Bestial Control when I saw the opening hand. But this deck's cool too. But, alright, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.